Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well, thank you for joining me. Well, I saw a newspaper clipping. <laughs> I call them clippings, I sound old fashioned, don't I? But you know what I mean, online. Here it is, Keir Starmer hosting Brexit reset talks at Blenheim Palace, of all places. Well, we knew this was coming, didn't we? I remember the referendum. And I'll tell you all now how I voted. I voted Brexit. I voted Brexit because I didn't like the apparent political control that the European Union had over my country, England. If I had that vote over again, I'd vote in exactly the same way, and I'm sure I'm not alone. There's often a problem in distinguishing the difference between the EU and Europe. I have no problem with Europe. In fact, it's wonderful. And I think we should have a trading arrangement with all the countries of in Europe. That goes without saying. At the end of the day, we have to do business. But a political union, I cannot and never will agree with. You see things in there like defence, European defence. We've had all this talk in the past about a European army for which we would form a part. Let's talk about immigration, jointly tackling the immigration gangs. Well, that's a misnomer. And I see the Tories and Labour are sniping at each other with regard to this subject. And it's very simple. Nobody seems to get it. It's a business model. The end product is arriving on the shores of Great Britain take away the end product you'll end that business model they don't seem to understand that maybe that's why we have the problems we do in this country but to have that talk in that place led by that man fills me with horror because as we know during the time where we had the referendum we were told it was a once in a lifetime vote we would never have it again and the people's will would be honoured. I even put a survey on the channel asking if people thought that we would be forced back in there in some way, a revised relationship. And a lot of people tended to think yes we would be. Shows the level of distrust in our relationship with the European bloc. Very concerning all that. And is this part of Starmer's Great Reset? Who knows? But I think it's something, collectively, we need to keep an eye on, that's for sure. Let me know what you think in the comments. Again, thank you to everybody for your support. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.